Hello everyone, Hyper here, and today's video will be the Unholy DK walkthrough for Lady Inerva on Mythic. Um, so for this fight on progression, I ran the Deadliest Coil Legendary, um, since it is a little bit better boss damage. But nowadays, if you have FM at ranked up all the way, you can also run that. Um, it's going to be a little bit less boss damage, but you will get a nicer burst of damage on the adds whenever they spawn. And especially if your raid doesn't have that many immunities and you tend to spawn two to three adds each time, it can be a better option. But if your raid has a ton of immunities and you only really get one, maybe two adds per wave, then it is better to just run the Deadliest Coil Legendary. So I'm playing Necrolord. Besides that, default talent setup here. Um, not a lot of fancy things. Um, this kill video will be from our very first kill, so keep that in mind when it comes to the numbers that everyone in the raid is doing. So let's roll the footage. Big thing here is on pull, you want to pop all of your cooldowns. Your potion, army, a bomb limb, um, basically everything that you have. Uh, I believe on this pool I was getting PI, which nowadays is not the case anymore since fire mages and some other classes have scaled a little bit better. Um, it's still really good on pull for Unholy DK, but then, you know, second, third, fourth PI tend to go to other classes. Um, whenever these first links come out, if the arrow goes above your head, it's kind of hard to notice. On um, this fight, you might want to play a little bit more zoomed in. If you notice that the beam is going to go on you, you can death advance to prevent that knockback. So especially if you're standing on this backside of the platform, if you get targeted with the beam and you get knocked away it is a very long run now here we get the first wave of ads so everyone just presses their immunities um normally these would have spawned and i think this was one of the first times where we actually skipped it because we had so much dps but essentially if you push the boss fast enough the first wave of ads is going to get delayed so that is why i ended up using my unholy bite and dark transformation right there Normally, you wait until those ads spawn, and if they spawn, then you wait to use Unholy Blight DT until they actually appear. If they, you skip them because you have so much DPS, then you press those buttons anyway because you want to have them up for what would be normally the second wave of ads, um, but in this case, it will be, still be the, the first. So AMS only gets used on immuning ads throughout this fight. Um, and the way our cooldowns work out, you should have Unholy Blight and Dark Transformation for every set of adds. Uh, do not just randomly press it. You want to line up Unholy Blight DT with adds. Especially if you're running the Frenzied Monstrosity Legendary, it will line up very nicely. Uh, with Unholy, with uh, Deadliest Coil, Coil, you will have to sit on it a little bit, um, but it is still worth it. The second wave of adds lines up with Abomination's Limb as well. So this is where you want to pop a bomb limb and kind of your second big burst of damage. Um, normally, if you are the only DK, you want to look at AMZing the adds. So if um, you know whenever the adds spawn, the circles appear around the players. The players should form kind of a triangle, and you can drop AMZ. And especially if you have the conduit, a single AMZ can cover all three of the players to give them that nice damage reduction whenever the damage intake happens from spawning adds. So big thing with these adds is sniping soul reapers. Obviously there I got a little bit unlucky because I had to I had to do the ever you have those adds at 35% health, you want to snipe soul reapers on them. Besides that, there's not generally too much damage that you need to focus onto them. You can still set up a few wounds on the boss, then when the adds spawn, as you can see here, I have five wounds on the boss. Uh, I just Unholy Blight, Dark Transformation, drop my DND, start cleaving, um, and that's pretty much all you do to the adds. The caster adds tend to die pretty fast, and then the tank add you can actually snipe Soul Reapers on if the boss is not below 35% health yet. Um, so right now we are at, this was the second set of ads in our raid, but normally this would be the third set. So the next set is where, again, everything will line up. You will have army, um, a bomb limb, and all your cooldowns. So if you're getting PI from a priest, this would be the second one where you would ask for it four minutes into the fight. So as a DK, the best usage for PI is on pull. 
and add your second army. Um, getting PI at the two minute mark is, it's all right, but it's not a huge amount of extra damage. As you can see here, add spawn, they drop it on the wall, um, and I just use my cooldowns. So since this was our very first kill, I knew that we're going to go all the way to Enrage. Uh, nowadays, if you're killing this boss, since it's been nerfed, this is where you want to use your army and your A-Bomb limb, because you're not going to get um, that far into the fight. So in this footage, I am delaying my army and A-Bomb limb until the next set of adds, I believe. But in general, this set, the fourth set, is where you want to pop everything again. Uh, just because the fight's not going to go on for long enough for you to make good use of that second army and third A-bomb limb uh, later on. So that's pretty much all there is to this fight. AMSing the, the adds to make sure that you're not actually spawning new ones. Um, as you can see, your AMS is up for every single set. Once you get towards the end of the fight, um, adds are about 45 seconds apart. So at that point, you're not going to have AMS. But for the first four or five sets, you should definitely have it. Um, using that's advanced to avoid the knockback whenever you get tethered to other people and you have to deal with that mechanic. Um, and other than that, IBF, Lichborn, can be used for just defensive and mitigation. But the big thing, uh, as far as damage goes, is just sniping Soul Reapers as often as you can and making sure that you have Unholy Blight Dark Transformation for every single set of adds. Um, and this was... Again, our first kill. I end. I do a decent amount of damage. Um, I think I, I ended at around 6k, 5.8k. Nowadays, um, you should be looking at around 7k if you are, you know, fairly well geared and you're spawning ads at fairly good times. Um, you know, spawning two to three ads. If you're only spawning one ad, keep in mind that that is going to affect your damage. If every single wave of ads is only going to have one. You're going to do a lot less damage than someone who spawned three ads on every single wave. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I will get back to you. See you on the next one. Bye bye.